Right then, it's, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do a damage report. Yeah, I think first first booboo I've made while I've been videoing. I say this, a chap that's never made a mistake's never done anything. Anyway, I think I left you last, where I left you last off, I were telling you that I'd got this buffer beam on end and I were on end of my frames and I were going to transfer the holes fr through from fr from my frame which which I'd already drilled and I was transferring the holes into these angles to get everything in line. Well I managed to do that okay and uh, I started to drill the inside ones and I got those done and I tapped them M4 because that's way, the way my screws are going to go in through my frame. I got them tapped M4 and my doorbell went and it were, it were a neighbour of mine wanting to borrow something and uh, one thing led to another and probably half an hour outside having a chat with him. So I come back in my workshop and I was just about to start again and that phone went and I think it was somebody from India selling double glazing or something. So that put me off and put me in a bad mood. And I come to workbench and by that, by that time uh, an hour had relapsed and I thought I were on riveting stage. So, I got my rivets in, made a nice job of my rivets, got them all file flush, come to put it on end at frame, there were no holes to put my screws in, were they? I'd missed these outer ones, I hadn't drilled them. So, and they riveted on now, so it were either drilled rivets out, re-drill re angle and, and re-rivet I didn't fancy doing that so I'm lucky I've got this Herbert pillar drill and table drops really low and I can I can get the depth but I need a really long drill to get to get through and also I've got to pick these holes up front back which I can't see from this side if you get what I mean so I've made this little jig I've milled a I milled a stop on it on the like a, it's like a shelf a, a slot where it, where it shelf drops onto angle. So I've milled this on my miller out this scrap bit of plate so I could get the trap my jig in in between the plates, get it to edge here, line it up with edge, then. Transfer punch my holes from the outside, from the inside to this plate. Then I've drilled my plate, so I can then put this recess onto my angle, clamp it on, and get it lined up with end. So I've got a, a template to drill through, so I'll get dead in line with my holes underneath. And the reason there's eight holes, eight holes in it, I had to reverse it to go on the other side, so I had to drill another set of holes. So, I've got my jig in, I clamp that, clamp that carefully to my angle, and then I had a route round me, one of my drawers, and I found this one eighth long drill, which is which were long enough to, to clear this plate. So I managed to get a pilot hole through, like that. But I've got to open them up to 5.30 seconds and I ain't got a 5.30 seconds long drill so I'm it, just a tip here if you've not got a, a long drill you can always make them. I've got this 5.30 second drill and I've got a bit of 3.16 bar and I'm going to braze my drill into end so I can then open these holes out like so. Uh, so a little tip for you there. If you've not got a long drill, you can always make one. So I'm going to get that brazed up now. And then uh, I'll reconvene and uh, we'll have another look where we're up to. 
Right, I've got my drill made. Uh, five minutes just to raise that up. I've got I've got it set up in drill now, so I've just got to open all these out outer holes up to clearance on my M4, which is five thirty seconds. Uh, I've got my drill my drill in. Uh, so just a matter of opening these holes up carefully. That's it, just got to turn it round now on the other side and uh, hopefully we're back to square one again. <laughs> 